Today is Chayelu. Yesterday, we learned a sikha in class, although we did not record it, about uh, what is Chayelu. Chayelu is the 18th day of the Hebrew month of Elul. Elul is the month before the month which precedes um, New Year's, Rosh Hashanah. So it says that we learned that, that Chayelu is the 18th day of Elul. That was the day that the Baal Shem Tov was born and the day that the Altar Rebbe was born. <clears throat> the Alter Rebbe says the Alter Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe is the first Rebbe of Chabad, Rebbe Shneur Zalman, <clears throat> and he wrote the book called the Tanya. <clears throat> and the, the book, the Tanya, was to explain, to make possible, <clears throat> to show you how to serve God according to the principles the Baal Shem Tov revealed. <clears throat> Namely, that God put us into this world in order to fix the world, to, to correct the world, to purify the world, to make God revealed in this world. The whole world would be like a holy temple. But how to do it? That's what the Baal Shem Tov revealed, with, with the, how the Jews are special, that they can reveal the Creator and the creation, make the place a meaningful world and a blessed world. But how do you do it? So the altar Rebbe explained. He said, that's the, 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 in other words, the first Rebbe of Chabad, he brought these ideas of the Baal Shem Tov, into the physical world. So he took Torah ideas, Torah ideas, and he, he explained how to utilize them in order to change the whole entire world. And when we change this world, it changes all the upper worlds also. What does it mean it changes them? It makes them that they're not so much world. And you realize that they're more... <clears throat> Windows to reveal the Creator. I mean, you can see in one way you clean the glasses, like an opt 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 optometrist. He cleaned the glasses of Judaism so we could see clearly what God is, and eventually we could see clearly, make the whole world see clearly what God is. That's the idea of the Mashiach. So, to Torah Chabad is called the Torah of the Mashiach, the Torah of the Messiah, Torah to Mashiach. <clears throat> and he says that's the reason why the Baal Shem Tov, why, why the altar Rebbe, the first Rebbe of Chabad, he called himself the grand, he called the Baal Shem Tov, so he called himself the grandson of the first of the Baal Shem Tov. He called the Baal Shem Tov my grandfather, even though he was not his grandfather. There was another great leader called Baruch Mimezibuz that was the grandfather, that the Baal Shem Tov was the grandfather. So the altar Rebbe said he's the physical grandfather, but I'm the spiritual grandfather. When he meant spiritual, he meant, he, I'm sorry, he said the, the, the Baal Shem Tov is the spiritual grandfather of me. He's the physical grandfather of Borah Mimizuvah, but to me he's my spiritual grandfather. When he was saying spiritual, he didn't mean <clears throat> that it was a little bit less than the physical. He was talking about spiritual, the essence of spiritual. The essence of spiritual was just totally removed from us, like we're learning in the Mimer, the essence of God. The essence of God was put into the Torah. The essence of the Baal Shem Tov was put into his teachings. And the Altar Rebbe said that by means of learning his teachings, I am united with the essence. Therefore, he is my grandfather. I remember that we learned yesterday? So that's the whole purpose of Hasidut, is take these spiritual ideas, take godliness and make it physical in the real physical world so it changes the world. So that the world becomes a good place, a happy place, a meaningful place. <clears throat> it says that, the, that's, and he explains in the end of the Sikha, this is what we learned yesterday. Therefore the Tzemach Tzedek once said about the first Rebbe of Chabad, Tzemach Tzedek was the third Rebbe of Chabad, said that my grandfather could say prophecies and be exact, like splitting hairs. Exact prophecies to the smallest detail. It's the kahutasara, like the strand of a hair. He could tell everything that he said was exactly true. Now, it's known thing that in Chabad, we do not <coughs> make a big thing about miracles. People do. In fact, in Judaism, they don't make a big thing about miracles. In fact, in Judaism, nobody makes a big, big thing about miracles, really. The Jewish people got out of Egypt, 
And the God did these amazing miracles for them and talked to them. They got the Mount Ma Sinai. It didn't impress anybody. Right? 40 days after the God gave the Torah, and they all saw God, and they heard God, and they felt God, and their souls jumped out of their bodies when God said, don't worship idols. What did they do 40 days later? They worshiped idols. So we see all the miracles and the things didn't happen. And the Rambam says, the Maimonides says it also, the Jews did not believe in Moses because he did miracles. And the Torah, we said this a hundred times, maybe 500 times, the Torah is not, the whole Judaism is not based on miracles. The first Jew was Abraham, and the Torah doesn't talk about any miracles that he did. The reason is because he stood up under these tests. So the main thing of Judaism is <clears throat> physical, this physical world, fixing it up. There is heaven. There is such a thing as heaven, no doubt about it. And there is prophecy, and there are miracles, and there are all these wonderful things. And this is really a very essential, a very integral part of Judaism. Heaven and hell, reward and punishment. But it is not an essential part of Judaism. The essential part of Judaism is to make God revealed here. Holy temple. What was the holy temple? God was revealed here. Serving God. It says that's why the Tzemach Tzedek said that my grandfather, the first Rebbe of Chabad, could make prophecies to the smallest detail to the hair to show that the purpose of the altar was that this world, physical world, was important. And that the prophecies were to the smallest, smallest detail not to show how great the Rebbe was, but to show how great the world is <clears throat> if we reveal godliness. Okay, that was, that was yesterday's sikha that we learned. You can turn it off if you want.